Hebrews 3 verse 15. The holy writings say, If you hear his voice today, do not let your hearts become hard as your early fathers did when they turned against me. Psalm 85 verse 8. I will listen to what God the Lord will say. He will speak peace to his people, to those who are right with him. But do not let them turn again to foolish things. John 10 verse 27 The sheep that are my own hear my voice and listen to me. I know them and they follow me. God seeks for people that hear him so that his ways inside of them can be distinguishable from the crowd and they are quick to listen and measure any instrument God may be using for the times and seasons. They can determine the present-day value of what God is saying and doing, and because of this, God handles their accounts while he makes them rich in mercy and grace. God does not come to cancel as men come to cancel. He will allow followers of dark forces so he can invade with holiness and power that his word would be known. The more intrusive though the mind is to darkness, the more a person will pour out tolerance to ignorant things. God actually considers this hatred against his true nature. When you know God has specifically said something is wrong and you say it is okay, you are not siding with him, and because of this, you will fail in your foolishness. Romans 12 verse 9 Love is to be sincere and active, the real thing, without guile and hypocrisy. Hate what is evil, detest all ungodliness, do not tolerate wickedness, hold on tightly to what is good. Proverbs 18 verse 2 A close-minded fool does not delight in understanding, but only in revealing his personal opinions unwittingly displaying his self-indulgence and his stupidity. God doesn't want you to be moved by frequencies of tolerance that come by way of fear. He will always back what he has said. So if you are tolerating darkness to fit in or because you're afraid to make a stand, unfortunately you are not being sincere and God considers you foolish when you act this way. If you decide to make tolerance a lifestyle, grace will no longer be knocking at your door because at some point you decided that your ways are better than God's. Romans 12 verse 3 Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. James 4 verse 6 And he gives grace generously, as the scriptures say. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs 18 verse 12 Before disaster, the heart of a man is haughty and filled with self-importance. But humility comes before honor.